Hey, it's Eric with another Android app review. Uh, still looking to be your number one source of Android app reviews. Trying to give you the most in-depth reviews so you know everything you want to know and have all your questions answered before you download or purchase that app. Um, today I'm going to be talking about CowWidget. Uh, CowWidget is another one of those apps that was one of the very first uh, widgets or apps that I downloaded uh, when I first got my Android phone almost two years ago. And amazingly, it still remains to this day uh, in my opinion, the absolute best uh, calendar widget there is on the market. Um, and that is because it is extremely customizable. Uh, basically, everything is in your hands. And, you know, a lot of times there's a lot of apps that try to sort of do everything for you. Um, and generally speaking, that's, I think that's not a good thing. I think uh, we all like choice. We like to set it up the way we want it to be because we're all very different, you know? Uh, whatever you want. Uh, and Calendar, uh, Cal Widget allows you to do that. So uh, let's uh, start taking a look at the app so you can see it in action and decide for yourself. So here you have my home screen and right here you have Cal Widget. Zoom in a little bit on that. And you'll be able to see really close up right there. Um, as you can see, I have it set up so that uh, the day and the date show in orange, the time in blue, and then the appointment or event in white. I have a black background, semi-opaque. Um, every single bit of that is configurable, as you will see. Um, if I tap the calendar, it brings up three options. That's the refresh option. The, if I hit the middle calendar, then that takes me to my default calendar, the Google calendar. And if I hit uh, the hammer and the wrench, that takes me into settings. So let's take a look at the settings. I waited too long. There you go. All right. So. Here you have the settings. If you hit help, it's just going to give you some information about it. Um, if you hit calendars, that allows you to choose what calendars you want. Uh, I just sync my main calendar, which is my uh, Google Calendar. But if you want weather, you can sync the weather. If you want Facebook, you can sync Facebook. Um, if I click Facebook and then go out of here, as you can see, it syncs my Facebook stuff, which is mostly birthdays. Um, if you have a bigger widget and therefore you can list more stuff, maybe you would want birthdays on there because it's kind of cool to know when people's birthdays are and have it right there. Because I have such a small widget, I don't use it for that. I only want my appointments, which are in my Google Calendar. Layout. You can select different things. Show the current date would simply put the today's date at the top. Um, as you can see on my widget, I don't have that. The reason I don't have that is because right above this widget, I have another widget which clearly shows today's date. So to me, that was that would be redundant. But you can have that if you want. And if you do have that, you can then decide how you want it to be aligned. Then you can decide how you want things to show. Um, all the events which spend more than one day show for each day. So if I have a conference that lasts three days, it'll list that appointment on each date that it is on. Um, show location event after the event title. Again, if I had a bigger widget, I might do that. My widget's really small. I just want to know what do I have coming up. I don't want to know where it's at uh, on my widget. Uh, indent the first line of an event. And again, it has to be a certain size in order for that to happen. Um, that would just put an indent, indent subsequent lines of an event, uh, show ending times of events. Again, that's not something I need. 
because uh, what I use it for, but if you wanted to know not just what appointment you had, but how long that appointment lasted, depends on what you're using it for. If you're using it for business purposes, obviously you may need that more, but I use it more for personal events. And show day headers of days without events. So even if a day doesn't have an event, it's still going to show uh, that day on there. Um, I only have it showing days that I have events on. So as you can see, it's extremely configurable. Date format. So this is the date format for the current date. Again, I don't have that on my widget, but if I did, I could set it up to be any format I wanted it to be. And then date format for days. Um, so on my calendar, that's just going to be for days that I have an event, because my calendar only shows days that I have an event. And this is the format I have it in, set up in. The, uh, the day of the week and then the month and the date. Um, it's highly configurable. As you can see, it's, uh, I, you, you can enter it any way. Like I have it just the abbreviated uh, abbreviation for the day of the week and then the full month and the day. But you can have the full day of the week spelled out. You can have the month abbreviated. You can have it any way you want. And this gives you less the code you use to make it look exactly the way you want it to look. Um, and you can also have custom text, as you see down here at the bottom. So however you want to configure it, you can. And then colors. This is where you can get creative. Um, you can use the color of the background, how transparent you want it to be. Color for the current date, if you have that at the top, which of course I do not. Uh, color for day he headers, color for times, color for entries. Or... You can have as set by calendar. If you have it as set by calendar, then what that does is that differentiates, uh, like uh, Facebook entries would show up differently than Google entries, um, your Google calendar entries. And then you could have it set up so that entries from your PC sync calendar shows up um, differently. So that's one way uh, to just, Distinguish that because I only have one calendar and because I prefer using my own personal colors not the colors set by the calendar I don't, I don't use that um, miscellaneous this is where you have the option so that when you tap the calendar do you want it to show the refresh open calendar config options which as you saw is what I have um, or you can have it set so that when you tap the calendar it automatically opens the default calendar and you can decide if you want your weeks to start on Sunday. Uh, if you don't check that, then it would consider that the weeks start on Monday. Look ahead time. You can decide how far ahead you want it to look in your calendar. Right now I have a mindset for two months. That's because I don't have a whole lot going on. So I have it looking two months ahead. But you can have it look as far ahead as you want it to look. And then you can set your refresh interval. How frequently do you want it to refresh and read stuff from your calendars? I have it once every hour. Sizes. This is just, uh, I'm going to show you inside the add widgets uh, what the different widgets are. But if you, it has all these different size widgets. And if you're only going to use, you know, one or two, then you probably don't want it showing all of these in your widget list because it can crowd your widget list. So you can uncheck these, click apply, and then the next time you reboot your phone, the, the ones you unchecked will not show in your widget list. So I'm going to create a new widget for you just so I can show you. Uh, different ways it works. Let's go right here. I'm gonna select a widget. Wait a minute while my phone brings up my widget list. And then you're gonna go to cow widget. Cow widget right here. We're gonna select two by two. Two columns, two rows. And there you go. Now as you can see, uh, because this is a new calendar, the configurations are different. This calendar has the date at the top. Let me zoom in there so you can see it really, really good. This calendar has the date at the top. It has a white background that is semi-opaque. Um, and then it has today, tomorrow, and you can see it has... It's showing everything. It's showing the uh, uh, these are people's birthdays from Facebook and they are a particular color because they're from Facebook this is a reminder 
which another app of mine uses my phone calendar to, to record reminders. That's where that's coming from. Uh, but you can, again, go in and configure this. So if we go in, I can decide I don't want those calendars, and I don't want that calendar. I just want my Gmail and Facebook. And then layout. Um, we'll leave it showing current dates. We'll leave the rest of this just for fun. Uh, date format. Again, you can change it, whatever you want it to be. I don't uh, see a need to really change that, but if you wanted to, you could change the different. Let's make it the short date format. Let's see, localized short date format would be one. So we're going to go here, we're going to put one. Okay. And see so now it just shows the short date format, which is just using numbers. So you can change that. Colors. As set by the calendar. So if you have it as set by the calendar, you can see my Gmail uh, calendar entries are going to be red and Facebook will be blue. One for each calendar. And let's change the background. Let's say, I don't know, let's say you're a Boise State fan, so you like bright blue. You can pick that. You can make it as opaque or as non opaque as you want. And you'll see. It's very opaque. Of course, this doesn't look good because the blue writing doesn't show up on a blue background. So you would probably want to change that. Um, so since we already have blue writing, we can make the background orange, bright orange, which is the other Boise State color. And they show up a little better, again, with my particular picture I have in the background. They don't show up great. So you, but you can play with that, you know, that's the whole point of it, is that you can play with it, change it, you know, make it whatever you want to make it. Um, if I take out Facebook, and then go to Colors, and let's see... I start changing everything around, giving it the color I want it to have. And then go back in there. And you can see it's all now changed the colors I want. So, and what's great about this is, as you could see, there are lots of different sizes. So you can have, you know, you can have a big calendar, small calendar. Um, as you see, I use on my home screen just a two by one. But you can see all these different sizes. You can take up the entire screen with a four by four, all the way down to the smallest is a two by one extremely configurable you can have it any way you want to have it um, very simple very easy choose what calendars if you want your Facebook calendars and and Facebook uh, birthdays to show up on there or if you just want what I do which is just my events anything you want like I said it is absolutely my opinion it is the best calendar on the market um, the only one thing that it doesn't have that I wish it had that would make it perfect is if it was scrollable if I could scroll up and down as you see you can't when you you can't scroll inside this calendar um, if you could scroll it would be perfect but you can't scroll so that'd be the one thing that I would request if I could request any feature but I don't know if I said this yet. This is free. It's absolutely free. The 
the uh, developer uh, just put it on the market for free. You can donate if you'd like to donate. It's uh, and you probably should because it, it's the best calendar widget on the market, and uh, the developer developed it for free. And even even though it doesn't have scrolling, which I wish it had, uh, it still has everything else you could possibly want completely configurable any way you want it, whatever you know is your style, whatever you want to do, you can make it. So that is Cal Widget. Again, uh, my favorite uh, calendar widget. I think the best one available and it's free. So at the very least, you should try it out. Um, if, you're, if, you're, if you've used another calendar widget before or if you maybe couldn't find one and you're looking for the perfect one, this is it. Highly configurable, um, available for download on the Google Play Android market. Again, I'm Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com uh, with another Android review wrapping up. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a post, comment down below. I'll do my best to answer it if I can. Um, or you can also send me a message to the website. And uh, if you like my reviews, then subscribe over there so that uh, you can be updated every time I have a new one, uh, which I'll be trying to do uh, a lot of reviews because I've got a lot of great apps that I'm excited about and want to tell you guys about. Anyway, that's it for now. Have a great day.